I was a smoker. And I smoked for, oh, almost 20 years. And I stopped. But ever since then, I basically now, every year, have an x-ray. I go to my pulmonologist, who basically saw a spot. So they said, okay, let's get a biopsy. Let's, let's, let's see what's going on here. Get a CAT scan, etc." And that's when they discovered the fact that they did have cancer. So I went on chemo for, geez, a little over a year. And I kept getting these other ones. <laughs> And this one had shrunk, the uh, tumor in the lung had shrunk, but it hadn't gone away. He said, well, you should come down there. Go to Virginia, here's a couple of physicians, see what they say. And it was always neurosurgeons. I said, it's neurosurgeons. <laughs> Doesn't anybody treat this stuff? I got Dr. Kirsch and his team at Riverside, and they said, we got this, don't worry about it. I first saw Mr. Roberts in February of 2019, and at that time he had just been diagnosed with lung cancer. And unfortunately, at the time when they were doing his imaging, he was found to have a tumor in the T11 area of the spine. The median survival for that is about six to seven months when you present stage four lung cancer. We gave him a course on the variant edge of four treatments. And to date with Gary, I have treated him to eight different sites on his body, with 30 treatments. And we're sitting here two and a half years later and he's still surviving with a quality of life that's good. He developed his first brain occurrence in March of this year. Before I even ordered the MRI, I called Dr. McAllister and said, look, I've been treating this gentleman. This is the eighth area in his body I've treated. I've kept him alive for two and a half years, but I'm 99% sure he has a brain tumor. Mr. Roberts is a perfect example of what radiosurgery does that, and how it supplants previous treatments. Because in previous eras, his only option would have been to do conventional whole brain radiation, which is where he would have gone again to a radiation center and had radiation that would have involved all of his brain. The downside would have been though, is that it would have also radiated healthy, normal parts of his brain with doses of radiation that were admittedly high enough to kill tumors and ultimately would have sapped some of the functioning out of his brain. The nice thing about the ICON unit is that we can do three, four treatments with accuracy that conventional radiation treatments can't even come close to and avoid radiation toxicity to the other parts of the brain. Then radiosurgery clearly has an advantage in that it avoids a lot of that toxicity. And so and Mr. Roberts has, has been a, a, a good case in point of that strategy for managing metastatic tumors to the brain and how it can be effective, but also pretty, pretty safe and, and non-toxic. I've worked in this industry over 20 years and this is probably the closest team that I've worked with. We interact and we talk about patients all the time. Everybody's part of the problem solving and, and coming up with solutions for our patients. And that helps because everybody has a different perspective of what the patient might, might need. And, and um, sometimes uh, I might overlook something, but the therapist might chime in and say, hey, don't forget about this, don't forget about that. The radiation oncology will, will jump in too, and it allows us to develop um, a, a, a really great treatment plan for the patient. Mr. Roberts is just one of those people that strikes a chord in you, and I think it's in large part because of his attitude and his willingness to, to do what it takes um, and still maintain a good attitude and so appreciative of everything that's done for him. He's just a tough cookie. He just has been through so much and has been here several times. We've treated him several times and he just toughs it out. He comes no matter what. If he is in horrible pain, he will come in and get on the table and lay in the position we need him to lay in and he just is awesome. We run into each other in the grocery store and he'll joke with me, well, I haven't seen you for five weeks. Something must be wrong because I've been treating him for so long. He has definitely become family. There's no doubt in my mind. I can't say enough about this group. They're like family. They're just the best. You cannot ask for better. And what they give you.